Hi everyone and welcome to the tutorial number 3 about how to make your own add-on for Minecraft Pocket Edition. Today I'm very excited because for real we are going to see the last bases uh, about the coding and for the next video we will be able to start going through the coding together and make the first uh, changes. Okay, so. For today, we are going to see uh, some keys on your keyboard and how to be able to uh, make some characters because this is very important, okay? Uh, so the first thing you will need to do, okay? Go in your search bar in the corner right here and you want to write keyboard, okay? There should be something that will appear like this one. For me, it's clavier visuel because it's in French, but for you it will probably be something like keyboard, okay? So you click on it, and there is um, this kind of keyboard that will appear. I don't know if it will be the same uh, as me. Uh, in fact, this doesn't represent completely what is on my real keyboard, but it doesn't matter, okay? What is very nice about it, first you can minimize it, and we will do a JSON file. It will be a good way for you also to, uh, to remember how to make a JSON file in case you forgot. So you right click on your screen and there is this little window that appears. Click on new and then you have new document or document text. I'm not sure what it's written, but when you click on it, there is this thing that will appear. You can call it the way you want. We will call it uh, practices, for example, okay? But you could call it also version of the distributor, okay? It doesn't really matter. But what is very important are the three last letters, okay? TXT. You want to change this for JSON. So J S O N. And then you press enter. And they will ask you do you really want to modify the extension? You press enter. And your file should now look like this. Double click to open it. And then I will make it big. And I will use this, okay? Because if you don't know where are your keys, this will be the best way to learn them. The first thing you want to do is to spot the control key. Control is the CTRL. So you see, it indicates you on your keyboard where it is. And when you press it, it will be in blue on your screen, okay? Control will be uh, super important if you want to copy things fast or paste your things, select a lot of text and even save in a fast way, okay? Uh, as an example, if I write a lot of text, okay, you see, and I want to select all of it, you press Ctrl and then you choose A, okay? You see, it will select everything. When I press a letter, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't underline it here, but you can see the Ctrl, the Alt, and the things like this, okay? So, Ctrl I, and then you have the backspace that is here to delete what you just wrote. When you do control and you press S at the same time, it, save, it saves your document, okay? And just look at the corner right here. I don't know if you see it with the quality of my image, but there is a little star, okay? This means that your document is not saved. When you do control S, which means control save, you see, the little star disappeared, and in fact, the document is saved. I do this a lot when I code, because if there is a problem that happens, uh, you don't lose everything because your document is saved, okay? The next one that is very important is Control c okay? So, for example, you select some text, and you want to copy it, okay? You press Control and then C. Now you may believe that nothing happened, but in fact, it copied your text, okay? And then if I go uh, somewhere else, 
and I do control and V you see it will paste it this is very important and very useful because sometimes you have to uh, to copy some part of your text and you don't want to select this then right click and go on copy or paste it's long for nothing okay you want to be fast when you code uh, you want to be efficient so you do this uh, so I will save and now the other important characters okay and this is where this is important there is what we call quotation marks you see the little symbol here this is a quotation to achieve it you need to press uh, if you have a French keyboard it will be Maj in English it will probably be shift or just uh, an arrow that points ver um, to the to the top of your keyboard okay so in fact when you press it it's always above the control okay anyway and it will be underlined this one you see it activate these little characters okay so when I do this one like this there is a quotation mark you always need a second quotation mark okay every time I say and I like to use these arrows so you see you can press them on your keyboard if you want to uh, go fast like this okay so you see, for example, you made your quotation mark and then you just return in it and you can write your things, okay? The other important character is what I call the double spot. I don't know what is the real, the real name in English, I'm sorry. Uh, but to obtain this, you need to press shift and the symbol that is beside the L. So you see right here so you have your double spots then uh, another important character is what we call the brace okay? brace you will need to press ctrl and alt at the same time okay? find a way with your hand okay? I don't know the, sh the, sh the size of your hand but usually I use my fourth finger on the ctrl my index goes on the alt okay? really helps me uh, it can be a little tip and then with your other hand you go on the seven okay or in fact you want to do this character okay so this is a, what we call a brace i also like to call them mustache because it looks like a little mustache so yeah uh, and as for the quotation mark you always need to have a second one okay but the second one that you put is the one beside okay you see you have this one to open you have this one to close it and you can go in it and you can write some things okay now you also need sometimes uh, what we call what I call square so the square is the same thing you press on control and alt and it's the ones beside the brace okay so for me it's the nine and zero that is beside okay so this is what we call square and you can write things in it okay uh, the last characters are not we don't use them a lot but sometimes you will need them okay it's what we call chevrons to make the chevrons it's the little symbols that are here okay uh, it's the one beside the M, you see, when you do this, which means smaller than, okay? On the other side, you also have the one beside, that is bigger than, okay? Uh, in fact, there's also another symbol, you know the exclamation mark, or I don't know if it's the good term, I'm sorry, okay? Uh, when you do shift... You see this symbol right here is also important okay so when you press one it makes this symbol and the last one you will need is this one okay 
the equal. In fact, the equal, you just have to, uh, to press on it, okay? Okay, I, I'm really sorry. There is one last, and, and this time, it's the last, okay? Um, you see, you have some kind of uh, straight lines here. There is one that is smaller than the other. We want the big one, which is called an underscore in English. So you do shift, and when you press it, so this one right here, it makes a line that is uh, below, okay? This one is also very important. So I will just make them again, but a bit faster. If you need to practice, just watch again the video, and that will be all for today. So, for example, if you want to do the quotation marks, we will make shift and the little character here you see you make two of them then the double dot you press shift it's the character that is here just beside the l like this you can do a space and we will do some brace so control alt and seven then control alt eight to close your brace Let's make a comma and a space beside. Then we will do some squares. So control alt nine, control alt zero, okay? Uh, and just to clarify, uh, don't care about this, okay? You just need to press one of the control and it's always the one on this side of the screen, okay? Don't care about this, it's super important, okay? Uh, so you have these. Let's do now the chevron. Control Alt and the ones that are beside the M. So this one and then this one. Uh, let's make a exclamation mark. So shift and the one. Okay. Then underscore. You press shift and the character that is here okay? it will make this one and the last one is equal which is right here okay so i hope it was clear if it's not please tell me in the comment i can always answer to your questions and this will be all for today but as i said in the next video we will use these characters or at least we will understand them more and we will start making the first modifications in the coding. So I hope it was interesting and that you learned something. I see you in the next video.